guys, I'm a giraffe today. Um, I wanted to do a Halloween costume look for you guys, so I decided to be a giraffe. And if you're um, interested in knowing where I got all my products, like this headband, and I also have a giraffe tail. I got this both from Amazon. I think it was around $20, but I will put everything in the link below. If you are interested in being a giraffe for Halloween, please keep on watching. I'm going to start off with my bare face and pull all my hair back so that it doesn't get on the way and make sure that your neck is bare because I'm going to be putting some makeup on that as well. I'm using the primer from Bare Minerals. It's called Prime Time. I'm putting that all over my face so that my makeup stays longer and my pores are not shown. I'm using my Double Wear Estee Lauder foundation in Desert Beige using my Real Techniques brush, applying that all over my face. Make sure you don't forget your neck and that um, you get inside your hair as well because you don't want that contrast. I'm using just a normal uh, eyebrow pencil from the drugstore. Normal as in there's nothing special about this. I don't even know what brand it is. Um, you can use anything that you have at your house. And really, I'm extending my eyebrows to the inside of the nose to get that giraffe effect. And you can go bold with your eyebrows. Using my Jumbo NYX pencil in white, this is sold in Target. Um, I'm just contouring my face in my T-zone and blending that out with my Beauty Blender. Make sure that your Beauty Blender is always wet when you're using it. Next, um, I'm using my eyeshadow brush with my Chocolate Bar palette from Too Faced and contouring my nose to make it higher. You can use any brown eyeshadows that you may have at home for this look. And I'm just going to blend in with a beauty blender to make it look more natural. And using the same eyebrow pencil to draw small spots and an eyeshadow brush to make those big giraffe spots. And I'm just going to extend that all throughout my neck. It's really easy, you just have to draw some trapezoids and irregular shapes. Just make sure that you're not drawing rectangular boxes. And with a bigger eyeshadow brush, I'm just filling those spots in. I'm going to highlight the under eyes with the same Jumbo NYX pencil um, so that my eyes can really pop in my costume. And with the Beauty Blender, I'm blending that out to make it a little bit more natural because it was too white. And with a brown eyeshadow, I am contouring the under eyes to make it even more pop. I suggest that you use a gel liner or a uh, liquid liner for this look because pencils can smudge a lot and it's hard to have a defined look with pencils. And I'm just going to go really crazy with this eye, um, filling that in and I am going to draw the inner, extend the inner corners of my eyes so that my eyes look even bigger. Um, feel free to do whatever look you want for this eyeliner really um you can mess up i messed up on this eye and that's why you have you see that line sticking out right there because uh, i couldn't save my eyes from the mistake that i made um and no animal has symmetric eyes and so you can really go all out with your eyeliner uh, next i am using the cheapest um, fake eyelashes out there from elf it was one dollar at target and to make it look more natural with my natural eyes i am using a mascara and applying that all over now you can stop here or go an extra step and with your jumbo pencil fill in those empty spaces where your spots are to really highlight your spots and blend that in with your finger and I'm also doing some parts of my forehead because it kind of felt bare. And I'm just using uh, my brown eyeshadows and filling those uh, dark spots in and gradually just kind of fading out. That way it looks even more natural. For my costume, I ordered this headband with this tail from Amazon. Um, it came as a set and I thrifted my vest and my black shirt along with the skirt that I'm wearing. It's a cheetah skirt, but it kind of looks like giraffe spots, so I just put that on. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you inspiration for this Halloween. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.